This is the first in a series of, of videos. So this will be a playlist that shows how to install and configure MailChimp for Salesforce. Uh, and this is the version by MailChimp. Uh, the next video is actually going to talk about authenticating and configuring. Uh, this first video is really focused on just uh, how to find it in the App Exchange. So this may be basic for you, and you may want to jump to the second video. Uh, so what you're doing is clicking Setup, and you're then taking a look at um, within Setup, look at your installed packages. This is part of your Platform Tools apps installed packages. Uh, this will give you a sense of what applications are currently in your system. If you look at the publisher list, what you're seeing is we have uh, Sage Financials, uh, which is Sage Live, uh, also Taskray by Bracket Labs. The rest are all Salesforce. That means I don't yet have the MailChimp application installed, so it's always worth testing first to make sure you know what's there. From this menu, then you can select the, the App Exchange Marketplace. What that'll do is to bring up the uh, kind of initial banner, and uh, these show other applications, and you can drag and play with that. But this, uh, this search bar, uh, what you're doing is you're entering MailChimp here. Uh, this is the icon that we're going to play with, and, and just, uh, you know, full disclosure, no, this, is, this one has 139 reviews, uh, not all happy. Uh, so it's worth understanding, uh, you know, as opposed to kind of one review, which is great, which again doesn't tell you a whole lot. So you can kind of dig through these. Uh, by entering, by clicking on this icon, what you get is to uh, kind of this view. And uh, there is a couple of things to look at here. Uh, one is at the detail level. Uh, this, if you drag down, this does show you when this was initially released, what the latest release is. Uh, it also provides information about whether or not it's lightning ready uh, and whether or not it contains lightning components. Uh, so, you know, watch for the next version because I'm, we're hoping they'll have lightning components and it'll be a total uh, redesign there. It also shows you the features that MailChimp is saying it does. Uh, by clicking on the reviews, you can actually see what others have experienced. And then there's kind of more detail about the provider. And this is true for every application. So it's a great opportunity to, to learn more as you kind of d to dig through them. Uh, also some links to customer uh, guidance, that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. So what I'm going to do now is to click um, Get It Now. What this does is to bring up a, a question that says, uh, you need to um, open a special login screen. Remember, kind of the app exchange. You're, you're, there's levels of what you're what you're doing. So first, you open it. Uh, you get this, which says they need to access your basic information. You click allow, and what it does is to then bring up uh, a larger kind of. This is the the full opportunity, which says what do you want to do with it. Uh, the MailChimp instructions are that you install it uh, in your organization as opposed to a sandbox. They've got features that require that. Um, that's not best practice, but uh, that's what they ask for. So you can do that, and you can always pull it back out. So we're going to click Install here. Uh, this is asking you to uh, kind of just confirm that you're doing this. There are kind of terms and agreements that you can read through. Um, and it's important to note that Salesforce.com is not the provider, but they have done a limited security review. And, and this, again, is worth reviewing if you haven't done that. But I'm going to accept the conditions, and I'm going to confirm and install. And what that does is to, uh, it, it'll, it'll take a little while to actually confirm. Well, you know, first thing you want to do is you want to install for either admins, all users, or for specific profiles. Uh, for now, what I'm going to say is I'm just going to install it for just admins, and then we can we can play with who all um, we, you know we can expand the use of it. Um, and so we're saying here this is approving third-party access, and I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to continue, and then it's going to grant access. The system responds with this message, which says this is taking a long time to do. 
they're going to email you when that's complete and you can click uh, done in which case uh, it'll then return you to this screen and you need to watch for an email after a few minutes you'll receive this message which says uh, the package was uh, successfully installed uh, who did it and kind of what's what's there and then if you take a look at your uh, installed packages again and you do a refresh on this what you'll find is that you now have a, a MailChimp um, that was published by Rocket Science Group uh, and it tells you when, tells you when it expires. That's the basic information uh, that you need. So you've done that. We're now we're on to authentication.